See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah. I just hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways, it's so hard to tell where he might be. I'll be honest, I hope we do. And this time he's not walking away with just a scar on his mask. Brutal. I like it. Hey, do you hear... Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them, too. Oh, ditto. Gross. <laughs> well, that explains all the zombie noises. Sort of like zombie spawner. Does that mean the white pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? That's what it looks like. What's that? This is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the White Pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh, zombie-filled ones. We can get up there. I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petra. We're going climbing. Okay. I think we can jump from here. embarrassing. Thanks, Jesse. No problem. Weird. That almost sounds like... Cats? sort of growing station. Weird. The white pumpkin must have heard us. What? Stampy cat? Boy, you gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. Yeah, it does. We're trying to find the white pumpkin. Oh, well, I'm glad you haven't run into him yet. Come on, you guys. I can't be the White Pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow. Who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Oh, it's terrible. Wow. Stampy Cat with the enchanted flint and steel. I didn't see that one coming. Definitely suspicious. I know, and that's why I had to keep it a secret. 
I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? I think you should give it back to Dan. It's only fair. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's better. That looks like a lair door if I ever saw one. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. <laughs> Let's see here, Legend of the World, Portals, Basic Portal Theory, Portals and You... Wow, they're all about portals. That's pretty obsessive. Petra, did you see this? That's the portal hallway. Yeah, it looks like the white pumpkin's been there too. Oh no. Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. Those poor people. You guys doing okay? I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty worried about Lucas. If the White Pumpkin isn't down here, he must still be upstairs. And I thought that I was okay because I was numb and feeling no emotions at all. But I'm beginning to suspect it was actually shock. Don't worry, we're gonna crack this wide open. That chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty, can you scoot out of the way please? I need to get in the chest. No! Bad kitty! Oh, stupid cats. I need something to distract it if I'm gonna get that chest open. Cobwebs. Should be able to score some string from those. like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. So that's the potion part, but what about the arrows? I'm guessing this chest should have... Oh, yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow, and ender pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Oh, to get a fish! Cats love fish! Yeah, and I saw one in the pond that'll be perfect. Ah! Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Thanks. Bet that cat'll love this. Okay, here, kitty. Get the fishy. No. 
There you go. Jeez. Ah, oh, many cats, so many cats. Ah, oh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. Guess I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Oh, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed-out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed-out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay. So who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Oh, man. You're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? Quickly, where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? Well, Jesse? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. Oh. She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie Rose was already in the room. No one else there. And Torque Dog's picture was somehow crossed that, out. That doesn't prove anything. Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. We found these Ender Pearls. Well, I mean, those are really cool, but. They don't really prove that Cassie was involved. That made more sense in my head. But that's okay. Stick with me, people. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow? He's brown, orange, and white. Easy. <laughs> Wrong. I'm sorry, Jesse, but it just doesn't add up. I guess that means the most likely candidate is still Lucas. No way. No way. I am not leaving here without him. So, do you punks want to do it the easy way? Or the way where I punch all of you? Guys! Guys! Come on. There are better ways to resolve this. I'm starting to wonder if you're all in on it. Please, I know I didn't convince you about Cassie, but you have to believe me that Lucas is innocent. No, 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 no. Please, we don't have to do this. We don't have to do this. I have the enchanted flint and steel. You had it? 
You? I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years! Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. Wait, Jesse was right. You were all so wrapped in your stupid drama. Oh, don't monologue. It's very unbecoming. Yeah, I think you should be quiet now, Cassie. Trust me. See, I told you guys. I just didn't do the best job of explaining. Ah! I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! Ah! Another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this! Yeah! Yeah! Wait! Look! I can't believe it! She's gone! What a way to go! Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. Poor Cassie. She did some terrible things, but no one deserves to be trapped away from home like that. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess... I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free! And we're alive! Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here! I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is... Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. I tried my hardest, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we all know that, Jesse. It's not your fault. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. Ah, oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that. It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. And so the drama continues. Fascinating. Hey, whoever keeps it, just make sure you're careful with it, okay? Yes. The ability to jump between worlds is not something to take lightly. After all this craziness, I might be done chasing flints and steels and portals anyway. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just gonna start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. Bye! What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie What's-Her-Name was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds... It all adds up, I guess. I know! Oh, wow, I think you could be right. It totally makes sense. If it's true, I sort of thought old builders would be taller. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. 
Winslow? That's strange. I thought 